Hi, I am Will Fries, otherwise known as Will the Welder. You guys see me all the time on YouTube from snowplownews.com plus Extreme Welder Cam on the lot for my welding and fabrication shop. But a lot of people also know me as, knows me as, uh, as Mr. Junior Oshkosh. There's another gentleman named Tim Wright is known as Mr. Oshkosh. Um, I open the own 12 Oshkosh <laughs> snowplow trucks, which is sitting here behind me. Um, Extreme Sun and Ice Control is my business here in Maryland. Everybody's laughing, why do you have Oshkoshes in Maryland? Is because they're the only truck in the world designed to plow snow from the ground up. This is called an Oshkosh P2526-2. All Oshkosh trucks have a neat way of their coding system. Basically what the first two numbers and the last two numbers of every Oshkosh truck will tell you what the axle capability is. So this particular one behind me is a 2526, has a 25,000 pound front wheel drive axle, a 26,000 pound rear axle. If it says 25, uh, 26 and then you see two axles behind it, the third axle will be an air drop axle. If it says something like 25, 44, it is a six wheel drive version, tandem powered rear axle. Um, like I said, I have 12 of these. I have them pretty much in every configuration. Uh, the nice thing of them, then you're going to have a dash and then a number. So this particular one is a dash two. So what that means, that'll tell you what engine and transmission configuration has in it. This particular one has an 8V92 two-stroke Detroit. This has not only a turbocharger, it also has a supercharger. So this motor has a 475 horsepower Detroit being uh, hooked to a four-speed Allison automatic going to a single-speed transfer case with air select four-wheel drive. So these are the only trucks in the world designed to plow snow from the ground up. So everything on these trucks are so much heavier to do. That's what P stands for, P for plow truck. Um, this particular truck is a 1989. The neat thing about Oshkosh is from this cab that's on this truck was from 1980, sorry, 1963 to 2023 uses the same cab. Oshkosh to this day still uses the same thing. Like the state of Maryland owns four Oshkosh. They come to our shop every get service because I'm the foremost Oshkosh expert. The nice thing is these trucks are all hand built. You can still order this chassis today. It's about $300,000 for a bare chassis. So if Oshkosh built that, you're looking over 400 grand. But Oshkosh plow trucks are designed for a 30 year life cycle. So that's why you see up in upstate New York, Massachusetts, Western Massachusetts, uh, uh, Northern PA, a lot of places up in Wisconsin, you see these trucks in these townships that are from 1960s, 1970s Oshkosh. They might have some new stuff, but sitting in the back corner of the barn is an Oshkosh with all the big bee plows and wings for that big boy storm. This truck here will push 36 inches of snow and not even face it. All you do is drop the fourth gear in the third and throttle her out. Like I said, this, thing, this particular one has a 475 horsepower Detroit. Um, the trucks that I have, I've got a selection of them. I have them from 1960. Uh, to the newest one I have is a 1996. I've got 60 series Detroits, 8V9 Detroits, I got 34 6 cats, I got 250 Cummins, 270 Cummins, 350 Cummins, um, I got a 3406 in one cat, I have a 1693 in a cat, and my snowblower has an 850 horsepower Caterpillar D348. So that's the neat thing about Oshkosh. These trucks were all hand built and all built a la carte. So no two Oshkoshes are exactly the same unless they were ordered together they are, the same. I've got trucks that are less than. 20 digit serial number digits off from each other that are totally built different. So that's the thing when you buy Oshkosh trucks, is you gotta watch what you're buying. Because there are some weird configurations. They can get a what's called a Doris Miller transfer case or a Miller transfer case with the Oshkosh uh, 5500 series transfer case. Just again, depends on what they're doing. Um, one of my ones I have is actually a six wheel drive tractor trailer. I pop two bolts, two pins, and I can slide the spreader off and back up to my load boy to move my Oshkosh snowblower. So that was the neat thing about these trucks. Some are automatic, some are sticks. I've got some with four-speed Allison, some with five-speed Allison. I also have uh, a couple of their stick trucks. The original Oshkoshes had a really cool transmission. They had a 5-3 split, tr uh, split transmission. She had a five-speed main box and a three-speed auxiliary. And it was a lot of double clutching, trying to move two gears plus operate all the clock controls. Um, I'm down to just one stick truck. It's easier. I have a 10-speed Road Ranger one. You can also get them with 8LL, uh, Eaton Fuller's, 9-speeds. I've also seen them with 13 speeds again. It was whatever Oshkosh put. Unfortunately, the new ones now, you can only get the pack car motor in them um, with the uh, with the automatic five speed house. And that should do the emission stuff. That's the new version that they make of that. But uh, we're going to walk around here and talk about this truck right here because this one here was fully restored. This is actually belongs to Tom, a buddy of mine who owns trucks out of uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, he bought this 1989. This came from an airport, then it came to the Pennsylvania State had it, and he bought it from Surplus. This truck was basically rust-free when he got it, like most of these guys, because they live at the airport, they never see salt, unless they had one to a township, and those ones are usually rotted pretty bad. But he took this truck, uh, basically didn't have to do much this one, they just DA sanded it, they didn't actually have to sandblast anything, they just went back and repainted the paint. This truck was originally called Chrome Yellow, which is a FAA air spec, because this came off an air spec. Um, this particular truck here has a uh, Frank plow lift frame, and it had a 22-foot wide Frank power angle plow 
Um, has your front mounted, front mounted PTO on it, so this got live hydraulics all the time. In 1983, newer Oshkoshes, they had one to this here. Um, this is the power steering box. The older ones had a telescope and hydraulic steering system. This is called a Shepard steering box. They actually make these in Shepard, Pennsylvania. Uh, right here, these also, um, and again, these Oshkosh are built in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Not to be confused with Oshkosh Pagosh Clothing Company. They're across the street. But this truck here, everything on this truck's pretty much original when he restored it, other than he put a brand new stainless body on because he is a dealer for Beauty Rock, and this was built as a show truck to show off the fence. Again, they are full-time four-wheel drive. If you see underneath here, you have the transfer case. This particular one's a single-speed air select. You flip a switch in the dash, and you switch back and forth. If you look at the back, look at the spring packs in this thing. Look how heavy do the spring packs. And again, this is only a 26,000 GBW spring pack. I have a WT2206, which is the largest plow trucks in the world. That has a string pack that's four inches wide and over uh, 18 inches thick. It rides like a brick. Nice thing is, these are even the original keys they came with. Um, again, all the original stuff with this. These trucks are very, very utilitarian. This truck in here, pretty much the entire cabs, is original. Neat thing about Oshkosh trucks, they have three heating systems in them. They have an auxiliary heater underneath here to keep the driver warm. They have one heating system just to keep the windshield heated and another one to keep the side ones. They also have side wipers on this. This particular truck has one on the passenger side, doesn't have one on the driver's side. Um, and again, even the seat in this, this is a Boss Trim 710E, which is the most uncomfortable seat in the world. <laughs> Ask all my guys work for it. But again, it is an air select. You have an air select switch right behind the steering wheel there to kick it in and out of four wheel drive. Uh, this truck will run at 55 mile an hour. It is rated to plow snow at 45 miles an hour. Like all the other Oscar trucks. Like I said, it has an EP92 Detroit with both a supercharger and a turbo on it. So this truck will get up and it's gone. There's here, there, and gone. That is it. So these are really, really, really neat trucks. Like I said, this one has been very well, nicely restored. And again, it's built in South American things. Like I said, you can still order a brand new one today if you have about 400 grand. But if you want to see a cool truck, and like I said, I have 12 of these. If you ever want to stop by Maryland, come by and see me. But this one here is really, really cool. And once you plow snow in an Oshkosh, you will not go back to plowing anything else. Uh, because again, these trucks are the only truck in the world designed to plow snow from the ground up. So everybody talks about how badass their plow truck is. And then everybody sees an Oshkosh and they go, you've got something better. <laughs> um, again, I bought my first one as an advertising gimmick for my snow plow dealership. And then we had a blizzard in Maryland 2015, and I was the only guy able to do anything with the 40 inches of snow we had. And then I bought another one, and another one, and another one. And it just got, kind of got out of hand now. I got 12 of them, and a white threatening to force me weekly over trying to buy another one. So, But this is just a really cool truck. I hope you had a good walk around here with Truck Tube. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put the comments in the bottom here. And uh, I'll try to see if I can answer the questions uh, for Truck Tube here with these stuff, these Oshkosh. But once you've had one thing school, the nice thing is you can pick these things up from Surplus. Uh, they do bring good money at Surplus. Like this particular truck and restored thing is worth right now probably over a hundred grand. Um, I've picked them up as little as five thousand dollars, and I've paid more than uh, up to fifty thousand dollars for them at auction. But they are neat because they're completely mechanical. Unless you get to 1992 and up, we'll start having electronic in them. 2003 up are pretty much fully electronic. Um, that's why the older ones, like I have, like most of mine are 1983 to 92 is most of the ones I have, and I have, like I said, my newest ones in 96, so. But if you want a badass plow truck, this is what you want to buy. And those are the original keys to this, too, from 1989.